Peters here with Omni Chiropractic, providing solutions to pain and performance. I'm so excited to be back in the clinic. I have seen a lot of my patients that have just been struggling um, with neck pain due to new working conditions. Uh, we're working from home. Maybe our, our card tables, our kitchen tables aren't set up um, exactly right. So I've been seeing a lot of neck pain, kind of upper back pain. A quick assessment that you can do that I use in the clinic a lot of times with my new patients because I just have the intake folder with me is full cervical spine range of motion should be able to go all the way back and then rest a folder on your forehead and your nose. Obviously, this is just a rule of thumb. It doesn't work for everybody. As you get a little bit older, we kind of lose some of that range of motion sometimes. But what it should look like, and you can take this test at home, is being able to rest a folder after you go all the way back. So if you look up, that's what we're looking for as far as cervical spine extension. A lot of times when I have people kind of check their ranges of motion, um, I have them look up and I, this is what I get. I kind of get this. They just look up with their eyes. They don't actually ever move through their neck because of restriction in the joints in their lower neck and their upper back. So we'll kind of talk about some different exercises to move that, increase that. So we have more full and free pain-free range of motion. That's what we're looking for. So stay tuned. Um, and then we can also talk about, we touched on modifying workstations um, in a previous month. So go back and look at that and I'll reference those. So thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know if you need any help. I am Peter Monday.